Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to take you through the weekend. We're watching this developing storm system in the Gulf. It broke free from a, a system up toward the Northeast United States and up into Canada, and it's redeveloping in the Gulf. Nothing tropical in nature, but because it's developing here, that is going to dive down into the Northwestern Caribbean as we go over the next couple days and increase the chance of rain. So you see it right here that rain back in the Gulf of Mexico. There's your time frame. So this is this afternoon. Now, spotty showers possible, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, Antigua and Barbuda, uh, back through Dominica. We'll see a few passing showers, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines. But look at this. You see the green here. This is by 2 o'clock on Saturday. Storm system, the, the main part of it's to the north, but there is the trailing front. So already by tomorrow, rain working in to the Yucatan of Mexico and edging its way toward Cuba. And yes, in the Bahamas, this is going to pass by as we get into the weekend over toward the Turks and Caicos. Tomorrow, Honduras passing showers. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, even anywhere from Haiti back through the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and a spotty shower as we get into the Eastern Caribbean. Grenada, we could have a passing shower, Trinidad and Tobago. Look, look what we're watching here. Now, as we get down the road, this is by Sunday. That's when it moves in. You see this thin line of some showers? So yeah, the rain chance increases, but this will change the wind direction. So I'll get into that in a second. But elsewhere you see in Jamaica, as the front gets a little bit closer on Sunday, the rain chance will bump up a little bit. And then elsewhere on Sunday, look at Trinidad and Tobago. Guyana, Suriname, uh, northern Venezuela, then back toward uh, Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines. The rain chance will be a little higher. Not a washout, but over toward Trinidad, a better chance of rain as we get into uh, Sunday. So I'll keep an eye on that as we head through the weekend. Keep me posted in the comments. Now, here are the winds, and this is what I was talking about. First off, we have gusty winds in the Central Caribbean, keeping those seas on the high side, 56 kilometers an hour. That's about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Some of the gusts are going to be even higher. So heads up to the cap captains out there, mariners, uh, uh, fishers, uh, we're going to be dealing with that. Now, as we get back uh, it, through the rest of the Caribbean up toward the Bahamas, winds east and then southeast. So we're on the warm side of everything now, but here's the front. Look at that. The uh, arrow's changing. The front sweeps in. This is a different air mass. This is cooler weather with our front headed toward the Cayman Islands, edging very close to Jamaica. Winds turn more out of the northwest Cayman Islands, Cuba. They'll eventually switch Sunday into Monday over toward the Bahamas, more so as we get into Monday. Uh, Monday. And then a northerly, northeasterly flow, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, all possible. So still waiting to see how close it gets. But Jamaica, we're going to be right on the edge of this front. Could clip us by North Haiti, just a slight difference in temperatures uh, around Port-au-Prince, not as much as we get on the south side as we work our way toward Jacmel. So I want to zoom in here. Here's a look at Jamaica, four-day rain total. So this takes us through uh, Monday. Now we need to get the rain Rain chance is not high, unfortunately, but at least with the front moving in, there's a slightly better chance. So you see in the blue shading, a few spots. Now, not all of us are going to get it. This is a computer model, so it just kind of gives us a feel of what we could get. But you see a, a lot of blue around. So that means if you do get a few of those showers, we could have some spots anywhere from 25 millimeters to about 50 millimeters, an inch or two of rain for some of us. So I'll watch over toward Falmouth, Black River, Falmouth, Black River, and then as we swing back toward Montego Bay, a better chance just because we're going to be closer to the front. Again, it's going to edge toward the uh, Cayman Islands. Not as much in Kingston, but Morampe and Kingston, still a chance of a shower as we swing through the weekend. Now in Belize, a better chance of some rain watching uh, Mexico. And here we are at Roatan as we get down toward uh, Honduras. You see the brighter color. Some spots for a four-day rain total, especially southern Belize and the coastal sections uh, down toward uh, Big Creek, uh, Punta Gorda, and then we swing back toward the north coast of uh, Honduras. We're going to have some spots getting in this kind of pinker shading here, anywhere from uh, 75 millimeters plus. That's three inches of rain or plus will be possible, not at one time, but as we work our way over the next four days. So with that front moving in, not only do we get some cooler temperatures, especially at night, but we're going to see that rain chance bumping up. So in Belize specifically, winds will be out of the east the next day or so, switching to the northeast. So today, 83 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius. Sunday, 77 degrees. In Sunday night, we're going to be down to 66. So Monday morning, a cooler start. That's about roughly 19 degrees Celsius, a cooler start 
on Monday. Monday morning, you'll notice that uh, change across Belize. Jamaica, again, the front, very borderline, very close by, so not a big shift in the winds. Subtle temperature difference from about 31 degrees Celsius to 29. So still today, pushing 90 degrees. It's going to be on the hot side, but temperatures go down a little bit. But a higher chance of rain on Monday, as I mentioned, not a washout, but at least the rain chance will bump up some. Then we get to uh, different spots. My friends in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, as we get toward uh, Port of Spain, sun and cloud mix through the weekend. This is through the weekend, passing showers, but on Sunday, the rain chance will be a little bit higher. So today and tomorrow, about a 30% chance, but I showed you that computer model a little more green around. So by Sunday, about a 50% chance of spotty showers over toward uh, Trinidad. So rain chance slightly higher for the second half of the weekend, but of course, staying warm. So the system getting stronger in the Gulf of Mexico today. That will move a front into the Northwestern Caribbean this weekend. And that means some cooler air, especially at nighttime and watching that rain chance getting higher, especially toward Belize, Honduras, and then near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and then even sweeping through uh, the Bahamas. The rain chance will bump up in the Bahamas for the second half of the weekend. And then I'll monitor the earthquakes. Again, a couple days ago, we had that one in the Western Caribbean, a 5.5 magnitude in the Caribbean. Uh, so I'll monitor anything as far as uh, uh, aftershocks with that or just any quakes in general. I'll keep you posted. I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead.